Good morning everyone. Welcome to our morning inspiration. Friday, June 21st, 2024. Our reading today comes to us from Ecclesiastes chapter 2, reading from verse 15 to 16, and it says, Then said I in my heart, As it happened to the fool, so it happened even to me. And why was I then more wise? Then I said in my heart, that this also is vanity. For there is no remembrance of the wise more than the fool, forever. Seeing that which now is in the days to come shall all be forgotten. And how dieth the wise man as the fool. Amen. So this here is a portion from yesterday's reading. And Solomon was just confirming something. He was stating the fact that with all what he went through and all that he was doing and all his getting and his pursuit of happiness through material things. When he came to the conclusion of things, he realized that there's no difference between him and everybody else. Because when it all comes down to it, he will die one day and so will the fool or so will the poor. So. The fact that we can't take anything to the grave, it doesn't matter if you take your wealth and pack them up in a, a room with you when you die. Well, not you, but your relatives. You still have no idea that they are there because the Bible says that when you die, your memory is gone. You have no thought of anything anymore. And after a while, you will be forgotten. So what? So, you see why it is important for us to live a life of purpose and not of vanity? Because all of us go into the same place, which is to the dirt when we die, right? We return to the earth from which we came. And so, it is important for us to understand that, yes, you need things in this life in order for you to get by. I said that yesterday. But don't live your life without purpose and meaning. Don't get caught up in the lavish lifestyle. Don't get caught up in the getting of getting things for getting sake. Just because you want to be popular. Just because you want to be recognized by your peers and those around you. You want everybody to say that, oh, he's a wealthy person. She has money. But with all of that, what are you doing with that money? What are you doing with that money? Except for trying to get more money and that money, even if you don't need it. And then the more important aspect of your life, you left empty and in need of your attention. That is why the Bible said the root of money is evil. So it's not that money is wrong or having money is wrong but our attitude towards it is wrong and oftentimes that is why we find ourselves in the problem so as Solomon would tell us by his experience that don't live a life without purpose it is good to be in a position where you are not in need but you can still have it all and still be in need and that is why he is saying to us make sure that God is is in the center of your life because when you have God you have it all and you will be happy things can't make you happy having all of these possessions cannot make you happy only God can give you the happiness and fill the hole in your heart that you need filling so I pray this morning that we get the message that is being given by our brother Solomon here don't turn our eyes away from the truth, but allow the Holy Spirit to guide us and to give us wisdom so that the choices that we make will benefit us in the long run and not only on a temporal basis. May we seek to walk in the path of righteousness. May we seek to do good unto those around us as we go along the way. May we become a blessing because the truth is that, no, oftentimes when we are not distracted by ourselves and so focused on ourselves, 
if we try to focus on someone else other than ourselves we realize that we ourselves as we try to bring happiness to others we will receive happiness too unknowingly yeah because now you realize that you're not living for yourself anymore you're not living a selfish life you are living a humble life now am i saying that you should take all your wealth and go and give it away i am not saying that and that is why i say take wisdom and apply it no one is saying that you should go and give away all your stuff but what i am saying is that you must understand that it doesn't matter what you have if you do not have god you have nothing and you won't find true happiness you won't find true peace until you let go and let god and that's all i'm saying amen so may god bless you and may god show you favor as you continue to seek to walk after his wisdom and not the wisdom of man god bless you amen